Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we are going to be making a pink peony wreath just in time for spring. And if you've ever wanted to learn how to make a DIY wreath stand, we're gonna be making one of those too for our spring themed wreath. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned. So let's get started with our first project. We are going to be making a pink peony wreath and I am making this peony wreath based on my love for peonies. And I've had people correct me and say it's peonies. And so I think it just depends on where you live or where you're from. And so some may say peony and some may pe say peony. Whether you say peony or peony, then this tutorial's for you. Last Spring, I made a pink peony arrangement. You can kind of see it right back here, even though I've added a few extra flowers since then. It was one of my favorite projects last year and you guys enjoyed it too. So I thought that for this spring, we would do a pink peony wreath. And as you can see, I've got quite an assortment and I'm gonna kind of go over this in just a second. This is just a great fine wreath that I had on hand from another wreath that I kind of just took apart and am going to be reusing you can pick them up for about three or four bucks you can find them pretty much anywhere what I wanted to do is have kind of an assortment of color and size within the pink peony range I found this bush of pink peonies at Michael's and it was 50% off and I think that made it um, about six dollars for the bunch or around there and it's this really light pastel pink, which is really beautiful. But I wanted a little hint of like bubble gum and hot pink in it. So I also picked these up at Walmart. Something fell somewhere. <sighs> Story of my life. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. I found these bubble gum and hot pink peonies and I thought they were really pretty at Walmart. And they're $3 a stem and you get the big one with a littler one on the stem and i thought that, that could bring out some nice dimension through using different colors and then also at michael's i got this little bunch now this one's kind of a little bit more expensive so this would be optional for you and this is 14.99 but i got it 50 percent off so it was 750 for this small bunch but i liked that this bunch was smaller and that will add a little bit of a size variation within our wreath which i think will look really interesting and it was kind of in the middle of these two so it's definitely not as light as this one but more in like that true bubblegum pink and we'll probably use some of the leaves off of the stems as well for the peonies but I also picked up this variegated stem at Michael's and I just thought this really had a spring flair to it I love variegated greenery and I thought this would be a nice touch on a wreath let's get started if you haven't already discovered the Sure Bonder glue guns, I highly recommend them. They are just so awesome. They're cordless, so that makes them easy to work with. And then I also pair them with Gorilla Hot Glue, which is awesome and it just works so well. They are not sponsoring this post, but I have put an affiliate link in the description box below if you're interested in learning more about them. I use the mini size, but I also own the standard size. So depending on the size of your project, you can adjust accordingly so we just start out by placing our peonies on the wreath for the most part I try to use a couple of inches of the wire stem that way I can push it down into the grape vine wreath and put a little dab of hot glue on each stem so that they kind of stay in place if you're doing this for outdoors you really want to do this step um, if you're doing it indoors you don't need to because it's not gonna be moved around if you're doing it outdoors you're kind of opening and closing the door door and you want it to stick into place. To give it more interest, I try mixing up the sizes and the colors and the direction that I put the peonies in at. So some I'll put in at one direction and then I'll place it on a different angle going another direction and this just will give it more interest and also we want to kind of spread out some of those colors so if we've got some of the hot pinks you want to put them in different locations and kind of spread it out throughout the wreath this is pretty much the same with the greenery as well since we got two different types of peonies there were two colors of peony leaves so we try to break those up and of course we also add in our variegated greenery which I just 
absolutely love what that brings to this wreath. When it was all said and done, I had a couple of holes, so I had to take a quick trip to Michael's, and they were out of single stem peonies, and I'm guessing it was because they were having a buy one, get two free sale, which is awesome, but I did find some pink cabbage roses that pretty much look identical to the peonies, so I got those and added them in, and you really can't tell the difference at all. When it's all said and done, I'm totally obsessed with this wreath. I cannot stop staring at it. It screams spring to me, and I'm really looking forward to having it as a part of my spring decor. Now that we have a gorgeous pink peony wreath, I thought it would be fun to make a wreath stand. Now, I might put my wreath out on my front door. I haven't decided yet, but I wanted the option to display some wreaths indoors. Sometimes you just want to store your wreath inside where you can admire it all day. And this might be one of those times because I really like how our wreath turned out. So I decided that I needed a stand to display my wreath on. And we are going to do this very inexpensively. And I'm going to be using stuff that I had on hand, leftover from other projects. And then I picked up a couple of very inexpensive things. First, I was able to find this spindle. And it's an outdoor spindle for an outdoor deck and sometimes those can be pretty rough, but this is actually not rough at all, really. So this is $1.98 and I picked it up at Lowe's. It's a little too long, so we're gonna cut it down. Now I'm gonna be using my miter saw just because it's quicker, it gives a really nice cut and I have it on hand. But before I bought my electric saw, I used to do everything with a miter box similar to this. So if you don't have a miter saw, you can totally pick one of these up. I'll provide a link below in my description box, but I got this off of Amazon for $12. Comes in really handy, especially for things like this. You will get a little bit of an arm workout, but you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> it can get a lot of these type of projects done very inexpensively. So let's go build our stand. Right on cue, my safety glasses went missing, but we still need to protect our eyes. So so I'm looking stylish for my sunglasses and this will get the job done. We've got our spindle that was $1.98, such a steal. And I've got my hook, which wasn't that great of a deal at $2.98. I feel like I could have gotten better, but when you need something, you need something. So I spent the $2.98, but look around, you probably can find a better deal on a hook than that. So we're gonna set it right at the base here. And then I'm gonna make a mark right at the top here. And that's where we're gonna cut. And you can see that that made a really nice cut. We're gonna hang on to this because you never know what you're gonna need it for. And then we're gonna cut off three inches from the bottom just so we have it the right size. Now we wanna build a base. So this is gonna be the bottom part. And then I have a whole assortment of scrap pieces of wood that we're gonna use to kind of assemble this. This is why I hang on to scraps that are about this size because you can use them for little things like this. My original plan was to use a Dollar Tree sign that I had on hand, but I decided that this was gonna be a kind of a pain to deal with, especially when we're gonna be painting. I thought it would possibly peel back a little bit easier, and it didn't, and I just don't wanna mess around with it, especially since I remembered that I had this scrap piece of wood, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this instead. And I think that we can get the exact same look without having to mess with it, and with the added benefit of it being much heavier. You can see that I've actually marked where all the centers are and all we're gonna do is take our drill and pre-drill. Make sure it's all lined up. Because this is gonna be the bottom and I don't want it to wobble, I'm gonna just take my countersinking bit and countersink this. So that way, the head of the screw will go in all the way and then it won't wobble. 
With my wood pieces in a pyramid shape and pre-drilled holes, I take a three inch screw and screw it all the way through all of the pieces and drive it right into the bottom of the spindle. For added support, I put in a couple of finishing nails, but you really don't have to do this part. Just make sure the screw is really tight. Originally, I do the same process for the top pieces, but this time only using two smaller pieces because I originally planned on using a leftover finial from a broken curtain rod, and I was just gonna glue that on top with some e 6,000 but then I decided it was just a little bit too big and I found the most beautiful knob with rhinestones at Hobby Lobby and since the knob already had a screw in it I put in a couple of finishing nails on top and then took the new knob and screwed it down into the original hole and then of course I attached the hook that we will use to hang the wreath on and to finish it all out I taped off the knob to protect the rhinestones and I spray the whole thing with two coats of Rust-Oleum's Oil Rubbed Bronze Spray Paint. I am obsessed with my peony wreath. I'm also obsessed with my DIY wreath stand. So cute. I mean, a $2 spindle and scrap wood. So this was a pretty simple project to put together. The wreath is beautiful. The peonies are beautiful. If you love this pink peony wreath, then here's another episode that I think you'll like as well. And to all my DIY Niners, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon, bye.